In this video, we will be talking about the integers mod n and defining addition and multiplication. So let's recall our previous work with a twiddle b, which meant that a twiddles b if and only if n divides a minus b, where a and b are integers. And we looked at a particular example when n equals 5. And so a twiddles b if and only if 5 divides the difference between a and b. And we started placing our integers in various uh, buckets or categories or equivalence classes. We started partitioning the integers into these uh, various equivalence classes. And so in one of our equivalence classes here, we had uh, 0 and everything that differs from 0 by a multiple of 5. And we called this the equivalence class of 0. Similarly, we had the equivalence class of 1, 2, 3, and 4. And again, you could test that the difference uh, between any two integers here in, in an equivalence class uh, is divisible by 5. For example, the difference between 2 and 7 is certainly divisible by 5. So 2 and 7 are in the same equivalence class. Okay, great. So let's go back over here uh, to this n divides a minus b business and, and come up with some equivalent formulations of this so that it's a little bit easier to conceptualize um, and, and work with. So n divides a minus b if and only if uh, a minus b is congruent to 0 mod n. In other words, what this means is that the remainder after we divide by n is 0. And that's the same thing as saying that n divides a minus b. We can add b to both sides. So this is uh, the same thing as saying a is congruent to b mod n. In other words, a and b have the same remainder, have the same remainder when divided by n. I'll just put when divided by um, n. Okay, so let's take a look at an example over here. Uh, we could say things like the following. Uh, 18 is congruent to negative 57 mod 5. And, and we could go on and on and, and come up with many other uh, examples as well. Now, let's take a look at the following. And another way of expressing what we have in this chart is the following. We can say the integers mod 5 equals the set of equivalence classes. And notice we have uh, five equivalence classes here, and they are denoted uh, 0 with a bar over it, 1 with a bar, 2, 3, and 4. And these bars represent that we have an equivalence class. As we said before, the names for the equivalence classes are not unique. I could relabel these as 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 if I so desired. Here's another example. Uh, we could look at Z mod 3z. And that would be the set of equivalence classes 0, 1, and 2. We could look at, in general, the integers mod n. And that would be the set of equivalence classes 0, 1, 2, all the way up to n minus 1. And you may want to take a moment to convince yourselves uh, that this is true and maybe make a chart and uh, be comfortable with this. We will see these uh, throughout our course and uh, these actually become some of our first and, and nicest examples of uh, groups and we'll talk about that a little bit later. Okay, so uh, we can now define, we can define addition and uh, multiplication on 
z mod nz. So let's take a look at that. Uh, here's our first uh, definition. We have a bar plus b bar equals a plus b bar. In other words, as long as you take uh, a representative of the equivalence class, for example, like 3, and another one like 4, so I'm looking at 3 and 4 here. To add equivalence classes, I simply add the numbers and look at that equivalence class. And so now the, the answer here is the equivalence class of 7. You say, well, where is that? Well, 7 is uh, in the equivalence class of 2. So we might want to reduce this, mod 5, and there we have our answer. Now, one could check that this operation is well defined, and you may want to uh, verify that by hand or uh, reading through the results in your favorite abstract algebra textbook. Now, we can also define multiplication as follows. a bar times b bar equals a b bar. A similar sort of uh, exercise here, we could take 3 bar times 4 bar and we get 12 bar, reduce mod 5, and we're back to uh, 2. In general, you'll, you'll get uh, different answers here. So it's just a coincidence that we came up with a 2 in both of these examples. So that will not always happen.